Hello, today I'm going to teach you about how to obtain a moment estimator of some random variables. The question with me next is talking about random variables x1 to xn is a gamma distribution. How can we obtain the moment estimator of, of this gamma distribution? Now, we've been given an int. That the expected value of x is alpha beta those are the two variables now and the expected value of x squared is equal to the beta square the gamma function of alpha plus beta over gamma function of alpha now let's see how we're going to get this first of all let's write out what you've been given you've been given the expected value of x To be equal to alpha beta and the expected value of x squared to be equal to beta square the gamma function of alpha plus beta all over gamma function of alpha but note note that note that the gamma function of uh, n the gamma function of n plus 1 is the same thing as n, the gamma function of n. So, in view of this, to help us to get the expected value of the expected value of x squared, which is given in terms of the gamma function of x, uh, alpha plus 2. Now, let's first of all get the, the mean of Random variable is given as 1 over n, the summation of xi, given that i ranges from 1 to n. So, and uh, the expected value of x is also the same thing as the mean. So, from what we have been given, the expected value of x, which is alpha beta, which is the same thing as the mean, can now be equal to alpha beta is equal to the mean, which is equal to 1 over n summation of xi, which i reaches from 1 to n. Call this equation 1. Now, therefore, your alpha will now be equal to the mean over beta. And then beta will be equal to the mean over alpha. Call this equation two. Now, what of um, the expected value of x squared? The expected value of x is given at the mean, but the expected value of x squared will now be equal to one over n summation of xi squared which i ranges from 1 to n so from here from the from what we are being given call this a and call this b from b from b beta square the gamma function of uh, alpha plus 2 over gamma function of alpha will now be equal to 1 over n summation xi squared arranges from 1 to n now from here we get our beta square the gamma function of alpha plus 2 will now be given as alpha plus 1 alpha gamma function of alpha all over gamma function of alpha which is equal to 1 over n 
summation i equals to 1 to n s i squared. So this gamma function of alpha can easily cancel gamma function of alpha. Yeah, you are left with a beta square alpha plus 1 alpha equal to 1 over n summation i equal to 1 to n x i square. But now from from equation 2 we learned that beta is equal to the mean over alpha. So we want to substitute this beta from equation 2 to this equation. Call this equation 3. So we want to substitute into this equation 3 from equation 2. We want to substitute into 3. Now from equation 2, substitute, substitute the value of beta into equation 3. Now we are having beta here is mean over alpha. So we are having mean over alpha square alpha plus 1 alpha to be equal to 1 over n summation of x i square i ranges from 1 to n. So this will give us mean square over alpha square. If you open this bracket, you have alpha square plus alpha to be equal to 1 over n summation i equal to 1 n x i square. So this one will give us mean square plus mean square over alpha which is equal to 1 over n summation x i square arrange is from 1 to n so from a we have from here if you multiply all by okay if you carry this uh, mean square to this other side then you can have the value of uh, of alpha to be equal to to be equal to if you carry this to this other side you can have the value of alpha to be equal to this all over 1 over n summation x i i equal to 1 that's the final answer for alpha when you substitute for alpha then um, minus the mean square so you can substitute the value of alpha into equation 2 so substitute sub just let's solve for alpha in 2 so if you want to substitute the value of alpha into equation 2 we have something like um, you know we are having a beta to be equal to the mean over alpha so it will now be equal to the mean divided by mean square over 1 over n submission x i i equal to 1 to n minus mean square so from here you are having the beta to be equal to the beta will not be equal to you have this 1 over n summation x i i equal to 1 to n minus the mean of r over x which is equal to 1 over n x which is square summation x i i 1 to n minus s bar so this is the value now this beta a now change to the estimator beta is the estimator of beta unless this alpha is the estimator of alpha so 
the value of alpha and beta, the moment estimate of alpha and beta is what is given. This is the question. This is the question. And this is the solution to the question. This is the solution. Thanks for watching.